Hey, what's going on guys? It's No Shoes and we're back with another one and today we're going to be reacting to Rock and Roll from Eden. This is suggested by Tony Turner, so thank you Tony for the suggestion. Keep coming in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. But without any further ado, let's get right into it. Let's see what Eden has to say. Let's see what Rock and Roll is all about. Let's get it. Very interesting beginning again. We reacted to a track off of this album just a couple weeks back. I can't remember what the name was off the top of my head, but again, it gives me a, a music concrete slash like Willy Wonka tunnel type of vibe where we got a lot of different, you know, instrument samples, vocals. We got all these layers coming together and it's kind of chaotic where we're in this intro section. It's almost like we're kind of seeing like fuzzy and then everything's probably going to come into focus as we get deeper into the track. Let's see how it goes. Okay, nice feel. His He feels very far away right now. The vocal, big, wide, lots of reverb, but it's pulled back from us almost like we're at the back of the auditorium and he's not using a microphone. And then we got this layer underneath everything, which is just this continual like dum 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 of the bass, which adds a real nice like constant drone to it. Spectator, activator, palladium's back, the baby is stacks of paper. Aggravated assault, hope the back of strangers, the strangler, long range of devil, devil stainer, educated rebel. Damn, okay, he's aggra aggravated assault. It sounds like strangling strangers. Something's going wrong here. Just the strangler, long range of devil, devil stainer, educated rebel with the heavy metal flavor. Levels is uh, up. Educated rebel with the heavy metal flavor. Bro, fire bars, great flow and delivery. I just wish he was a little bit closer, but we'll see how that how that goes. Flavor levels is elevated to decibels of danger. Folks from the generator blow the detonator. That's a make the place and left the radius of crater. I came to the crater into. Uh, hold up, hold up. Bring that back. That's a make the place and left the radius of crater. Decimate the place and left the radius of crater. Bro, great bars. And it feels like he is getting a little louder. I don't know if I'm just acclimating or if it actually, or if he actually is rising in level, but sounds great. Make the place and left the radius of crater. I came to the greater entertainer. It plays the remainder with the energy of anger. Celebrate the makeup, I mutilate later. And play a naysayer like an amplified bass player. When it hits it, when he hits that amplified bass player, and then we just get whoa, 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 whoa. that's a great sound. I love that. I again, I imagine it's something to do with the bass. Maybe there's a pedal involved in there. I'm not exactly sure how you would get that sound. getting some real nice reversed sounds in there we're getting we're getting that like <laughs> so that probably sounds horrid on your end so i apologize to you guys but those reverse sounds coming through this gives me like um aesop rock type vibes almost where we're it's a very experimental instrumental where it's in that boom bap realm the drums feel a little bit too pulled back for it to be like true classic boom bap. They're not right up in your face enough, at least in my mind. But the way everything fits together, it's super interesting. We got all these layers going on and it reminds me a little bit of Revolution 9 by the Beatles. But this is 
more on the musical side and less on the chaotic sound collage side that like Revolution 9 really hits. Oh, to giving credence to the revival of Poseidon. We getting some big words in here, man. We got some five dollar words on this track. Butterflies made the iron ride the horizon, giving credence to the revival of Poseidon. Feeds uh, in the clear. And then also, it sounds like we might have a feature on this track. I am always a little you know put the put the features name up there you know give give them the credit but it looks like we might have somebody named daga on this track d-a-g-h-a i haven't heard of him before i believe this is his voice right here that we're listening to currently so if you heard that name before you got anything you want to see on the channel let me know in the comments but let just just let me know what's up y'all know i don't know everything i'm here to learn as well Order. You fear slaughter, but love craft off the things to harbor for tomorrow. Zombies and walking dead stop the talking heads. Insects with awful legs, haunt with awful dread. Zombies and walking dead, then move to talking heads. Great compound rhyme between walking dead and talking heads. And I wonder, I don't know when this project was released, but nah, way too early for that to be an actual reference to walking dead. But that would be funny if it was. All alone the web of bread remains red With bloodshed that led to where the little feet fled To lost places, thought lost for all ages With small faces sitting in the walls of tall mixes That overlook the fence and floor with long cases Connected to the earthly core through elevators Check it. The underground is made of velvet With butter saw brothers talk tough on wax but ain't shell shit Oh, the underground is made of velvet, velvet underground I know they're a band from at some point within you know the recent history if y'all want to educate me more on that please do but a soft brothers talk tough on wax but ain't shell shit every crack of the rat ain't the elder swap we long tough on wax but ain't sell shit kind of saying like damn they they got the bars on the wax but still nobody buying them cultivates the blue oyster shellfish I design my pearls before swine and form rhymes to take you to a world before time okay a nice transition there we got shellfish to pearls have y'all noticed that like after after listening to a song for a little while eventually like my brain starts to be able to listen to the lyrics a little bit more you get acclimated like I was saying a little earlier I design my pearls before swine and form rhymes to take you to a world before time when living things coexisted with crimson kings who on the moon's dark side painted pretty things that illustrated lessons conceived by the mothers of invention who also built a stairway to heaven is a Yo! We are getting so many nice references. We got the Crimson Kings. Now we got the, uh, the mothers of invention which um, is one of Frank Zappa's early bands. And then we just hit another one. Things that illustrated lessons conceived by the mothers of invention who also built a stairway to heaven is a present. Only to yeah, stairway to heaven. We all know that one. You can't, you can't be forgetting. The heaven is a present only to be stolen by a thief. The Judas priest who unleashed his devil magic. Bro, yeah, all this rock and roll references. I was not expecting that. Huh, I guess Eden and uh, Daga might both be heavily influenced by rock and roll. Maybe that's a big part of this album. The cover, now that I think about, could be like a, to emulate like psychedelic rock, a psych rock type of feel. It, it actually has that type of energy, but it's right in between that and rap, whereas like, for those of y'all who haven't heard Lil Yachty this past year at some point put out a psych rock album. It's actually pretty good. I haven't checked out any on the channel. I've listened to it in my in my free time. 
it's worth a listen. I, I would check it out if you haven't already. Their way to heaven is a present, only to be stolen by a thief. The Judas priest who unleashes devil magic. My mental fabric, too thick for Lenny Kravitz, who imitates Jimi Hendrix in every fashion. Semi yeah, Lenny Kravitz, Jimi Hendrix. We're getting a lot of great reference here. references here. He used Judas Priest as a way to switch to a like slight biblical scheme before he went back to name dropping. Hey. Hey. Okay. Bruh, the last thing I ever expected. And then we get the Black Sabbath reference to end us out there. So many names dropped. It's got me wondering. I must have missed some other ones earlier in the track. But once again, that was Rock and Roll from Eden. Thank you again to Tony Turner for the suggestion. Keep coming in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that bell if you want to see more videos like this. Much love to everybody in the No Shoes Gang, and I will see you all next time.